Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 25th of 2024 is titled Globular Star Cluster NGC 6752. So what do we see here? Well, this is, as specified, a globular star cluster, which is a group of stars tightly bound together. So it's permanently bound. There is enough gravity within those stars to hold them together and keep the stars from escaping. And that differentiates it from an open star cluster, which will eventually disperse out into space. Now, there are a lot of stars concentrated here. And in fact, you can kind of see how dense this is at the core. So in areas around the central regions here, you could have hundreds of stars in the distance between the Earth and Sun and the nearest star in our own galaxy. So we can look at the stars here and see a number of them all concentrated together. And what we look at is some of the different types of stars. Now most of these are very old stars. Globular star clusters are very old. In fact, some of the remnants of the very earliest times in our galaxy. So we talk about globular star clusters over 10 billion years old. Now some of the stars that exist in here shouldn't be around. They should not live 10 billion years. And those are what we call blue stragglers. So when we study the star cluster and examine the types of stars there, these stars should not exist in a star cluster this old because they don't live that long. And the thought is that because the stars are so densely packed together that some of these stars end up merging together and forming larger stars, more massive stars than would have originally existed. So these stars exist there now because they formed later from the merger of other stars. And that's why they're more massive than we would expect to still be around in this cluster. Now some of the stars that you see here that are bright blue stars are actually foreground stars within our own galaxy stars that are closer to us and just happen to be along this along the same line of sight. And one of those you can notice prominently there a below and to the left of the star cluster, that is actually a foreground star. So that is a star that just happens to be almost exactly lined up with this globular star cluster. And that's why it appears in the same direction. However, this globular star cluster is actually about 13,000 light years away. And that star is probably much closer. It may be hundreds or thousands of light years away, just located in the same direction, which reminds us that we really don't see three dimensions when we look out in space. As we tend to look out there, we're seeing everything kind of crunched together, whereas we can see things that are really at vastly greater or less distances within the single area here. Now, if you also look around, you might see some more distant objects. And those are some of the little fuzzy objects that you can see around. There's actually a couple of galaxies that would be visible as well, which would be well beyond the globular cluster itself. So we see all different distances put together here. And while it looks like everything is at the same distance on our great celestial sphere, we really are seeing things at widely varying distances that just happen to be in the same general direction in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for October 25th of 2024. It was titled Globular Star Cluster NGC 6752. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.